it's the last morning and i hope i don't back into anybody last morning hello park canaveral we're headed to worlds of marvel for our breakfast right we'll have a little we'll have a debrief later because we're gonna just sit and talk about the cruise because we have time before our next adventure today at the titanic so that's your breakfast bells. This is muffin. How's your croissant, Kristen? So Yummy. All right. Christian, do you want your card to be the one that scanned? Goodbye, right. Disney Wish. We are no longer on the ship. parking garage where it's really bright. Goodbye Disney Wish. It's also um, a lot chillier than when we left. It's been a good cruise. We got a little time later today where we'll sit and we'll talk. But for now, goodbye beautiful ship. We are back home. Christian, did you have a good cruise? Sorry, I know you were just eating cookies. So. Did you have, was it a good surprise? What yeah, was your, it was the best. What was your favorite part of the cruise? All of it. All of it? What was your favorite part of the club? Uh -huh. Hi, Red. What was your favorite part of the club? Mm, all of it. Okay, you liked, every time you came out, you had art. So, what was your favorite restaurant? Mm. Nineteen twenty-two. Me too. Was was your favorite restaurant, Bella? My favorite was Arendelle. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the club? The Mickey's Captain Jack. Yeah, every time you came out, you said you were in there. So, yeah. was the wish as good this time as the first time? Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you go on it again? Yes. Well, we don't have the wish planned anytime soon, but we will be going on the treasure Birthday. eventually. Birthday. Not this year, next year. Um, but it's pretty much the same, just with different themes for stuff. So that'll be good, right? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun at Castaway Key yesterday? Yeah. yeah. All right. Bella, hmm. you had a good cruise. Yes. You had lots of fun. Mm-hmm. It's better than driving home the other day. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. We are now a day and a half post-cruise. Yep. And the kids have talked about it. So what what did you think of the Wish? This was our everybody else's second time. This was your first time on the Wish. Uh, I really enjoyed the Wish. I thought it was a great ship. It was beautiful. Had a lot of cool things uh, going for it. I really enjoyed the Aqua Mouse. That was a lot of fun. Um, like Mary said, um, we were able to ride the Aqua Mouse four times in a row. Well, Christian was. We were able to ride it three times uh, in a row, just back to back to back on Castaway Key Day. So um, I thought it was a really fun uh, ride. I thought the food at Festival of Foods was amazing. Uh, for quick service food, it was above par, honestly, for me. I really enjoyed the burritos from uh, Donald's Cantina. Um, you got the bowl on uh, Nassau Day, and that looked delicious. Um, got plenty of uh, stuff from Mickey Smokestack Barbecue. And it was fun when we'd go out to Deck 11 at night, and they were watch them getting the ribs yeah. ready for the next day or they the brisket. Did. They were getting everything ready and they were putting it in the smoker. That was that was absolutely amazing. Um, and then I never remember the the third place. Goofies. Yeah, Goofies. I mean, it had your burgers and uh, chicken tenders. But the two times that we got burgers. Yeah, uh, we're making them fresh. They were making them fresh. So it was a really good burger. Um, they were cranking out the pizzas at Daisy's. Yeah. Isabella had daisies twice uh, on the cruise, so. Uh, and then they had our favorite 
on the last That's night. Great. Yeah, blueberry ice cream. So that was really good. And I am not a certified cone maker, so having someone who does it all the time the, watching just the fact that they were holding four cones and filling them all was amazing yeah. that that was really really awesome to see so um i thought it was overall a really really good ship um i'm excited to see the treasure look th almost exactly the same um at least technology wise and food wise so that'll be really fun when we eventually get to to sail on it. So we've talked about how the the main downside of the wish, and it will be the same on the treasure, is that deck four, the promenade deck, does not go all the way around. Yeah. Um. We made it work. Yeah. We just but kept on doing paces. It, it, I, I, feel, I miss it. Yeah. I felt bad every time we passed those people that were playing shuffleboard. We so. miss the shuffleboard takes up much more of the deck. It does. So it. There's a bench and there's shuffleboard. It, it leaves very little room to walk, so that was another downside to it. But other than that... Outside of that, I mean, I, I really enjoy the Wish. I enjoy the main dining rooms. Um, uh -huh. I enjoy Marceline Market. Uh, we talked about how I wasn't necessarily a fan of uh, the cast members having to serve you. I, I did like on the other ships, but it, it, from a health and wellness standpoint, it does make a lot more sense. I mean, to the ship was built during, during COVID. COVID. But another thing I really liked about it though, is that unlike the other ships where it was the same thing repeating, it, it was slightly different. Yeah. Or, like all the stations had your standard sausage, hash, hash browns, browns bacon. bacon, but they had something different at each one. So like at the first one, they had your eggs Benedict and your main like eggs uh, and Mickey waffles and stuff like that. But then there was an, uh, a section that had fried rice and uh, different kinds of ganji uh, at their station. And then there was a fruit station. I thought one, one place had like salmon. And, mm -hmm. um, I, I thought that the way that it was broken up was really good. And then at the very back, I think that's one of the, the not necessarily secrets, but something that people were constantly asking for is where can you get your your custom made omelets and where fresh like fruit. your fresh fruit stuff That's at the back. very back, just like on the other ships. But I could kind of see people not being sure, but I, I thought it was a really good layout. It just, it was just a lot of, a lot of people on the ship and it, it, it's meant that way. But I mean, you never feel like you're with 4,000 people. No, you don't. Mm. Uh, and actually we had a really easy time, uh, finding seats at Marceline yeah. Market. So The only time there was a lot of people anywhere was in the atrium on the last night when dinner mm. was letting out and people were getting trying to get like last minute characters. Yeah. Uh, and that's last minute characters. I think that that's another one where it, it's tight spacing. Um, like when you're tra traversing between uh, the, the grand, uh, grand oh. hall and going like forward to the bayou or to hyperspace lounge that that uh hallway does get a little tight but and it's just because so many people are lining up there to meet someone yeah. that's on the stage and because it's no matter what whether you're three or four night there's only so many chances to meet a character yeah so as we noticed last year on the magic the lines for characters were so much longer because there's less chances to meet them you go on a seven night and there's yeah, you, you miss a, lines. yeah, you miss a character one time. You're like, okay, cool. I'll catch him the next day or something like that. But other than that, I, I thought it was really the, the grand hall was amazing. When you walk in, like yeah. it, it stands up to its name. The ship is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, the only other comment I have on the ship itself really is, um, that we did an inside stateroom this time. Mm -hmm. And because it's a ship that mainly does and is planned for however long to do three and four night cruises, a standard inside stateroom is um, kind of a tight squeeze, yeah. especially for a family of four. We made it work mm -hmm. for a three night, could have worked for a four night. Anything longer, there's just not enough space in there. The way no. that the beds are set up is weird. I bashed my head off the bed. Um, yeah. When you come in, ago. when the bunk bed is down, it's a tight squeeze to get between from the door to into the main <laughs> cabin uh, at least ours was where we were positioned it could be different uh depending on where you're at on the on the decks but i mean it, it was very tight and then trying to get around like in the middle of the night the ladder for the for the bunk bed was did take up a 
substantial amount of space. So, but, I mean, for a couple, a standard inside would work mm-hmm. just fine. For three, and then for a party of four, like we were, it we made it work. Yeah. Um, but compared the first time we sailed on the wish, we had a veranda, and it was just so much more space. Mm-hmm. So, but... It I, worked. We, we It was a last minute. We booked it in November, and it's the end of January. So... Yeah. Maybe next time we sail on the Wish or... Treasure, we're going to go at least tre- with an um, ocean view. Yeah, and that's what I think. Uh, we'll go with an ocean view, see if that's a little bit better. Um, but overall, it, it was a good cruise. Last last topic. Disney Band Plus or oh, Magic yeah. Band Plus. Yep. Yeah, that was another one. Yep. I, I thoroughly enjoyed... Uh, it made things so much easier. Uh, yeah. I think just because we're used to having our magic bands for at the parks or the resorts, you know, you walk up to the door, you scan your band, you're in. And it made it so much easier than trying to grab your lanyard. Or sometimes I don't want to wear my lanyard and I put it down in my bag, having to find that. Yeah. It, it having just, to really only need your lanyard to get off the ship was so nice. It, it really was. It Not having to worry about thinking about, do I have my lanyard, like, when we're at the parks, we always have our magic bands on from morning till it's time for bed. So just like putting on a watch, put on your magic band plus and you go out the door and you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, it, it was perfect. And then the kids, they had their own. So we we didn't have that for the clubs. We didn't have to worry about turning them in on the last night. I will say the only, not necessarily negative thing was, but cumbersome thing was because they do need charged um they had to cut the lock off a few times but outside of that it it wasn't a bad thing honestly but the kids really liked being able to it run makes up to it the easier door. because our kids hate having locks on their band anyway christian yeah. always wants to take his off when we're in the room yeah so it and worked out the cast members are completely fine with cutting the band off uh just when you go to get them checked into the club for the next visit They'll just put another yeah. lock on. So. so they don't lose their band. Yeah. In the club. Um, yeah, it was... It, the the lighting up aspect with yes. the different restaurants. It lit up while we were at Hyperspace Lounge. Mm-hmm. It lit up at Marvel. It mm-hmm. lit up when Christian and I were at... Well, when we were at Pirate Night. It mm-hmm. lit up when we were at the end of the cruise thing. It's kind of like a fun like reminder when you aren't expecting it to go off and it buzzes. You're like, oh, what's going on? What am I seeing? Yeah. Kind of thing. I, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, yeah. It's a magic band plus. And the cool thing is, is like Mary said, we you don't need your key to the world card. That includes to <clears throat> charge things to your room. Um, we bought drinks at Hyperspace Lounge and I just handed the cast member my uh, magic band and... They were able to charge it. So yeah. that was really, really great as well. Um, it made things a lot easier. It, it, it really did, honestly. Um, we weren't sure how we were going to uh, take to it. but yeah. I, Another aspect, on the wish, you can't go run outside. But for the dream, I will be running outside in the mornings. And I won't have to worry about shoving my lanyard in my pocket. I'll just mm-hmm. have my band on. Yep, that is true And I'm well. used to that from Disney World because I have to have a way to get back in the room. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's true. But overall, Magic Band Plus was a phenomenal thing for uh, for us. And I can't wait to see it included to the uh, to our favorite ships, uh, the Wonder uh, and the Magic. So yeah. it'll be be a lot of fun. And the, the fact that it's already been loaded to the Dream is just going to make that, that cruise so much easier. And that is... Um, at the time we are sitting here talking, it is 73 days away. So by the time we get this posted it's probably yeah, this is probably not going to go up for three four weeks so yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah it was a really good cruise mm-hmm. it was relaxing because we just did whatever we were with the flow we were and the we had... kids had nothing they I had no yeah. idea up until we were five minutes from the port so. yeah. it was no preconceived like hey we got to do this we got to do this we got to do this like we got off the ship in Nassau, we did Junkanoo Beach, got back on, did the Aqua Mouse, had a lot of fun in the pools that day, um, had fun on Castaway Key in the morning, did the pools in the afternoon. Like the kids love water, so they had a really great time. 
at both ports. So. Yep. Well, I'm glad you got to go on the fish this time. Yep. And, yeah, I think that's everything. Yep. 73 days.